A big part of the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu was created by my father exactly because uh, my uncle Carlos learned from Ma Maeda, from, from Conde Coma, and uh, Maeda was a champion. He's been fighting for all over and, and, and went to Brazil to settle. And he started teaching uh, Uncle Carlos based on the friendship he has with my grandfather. And in that process, Uncle uh, Chu Carlos learned a lot from, from Maeda, but Helio was 12 years younger than my, my uncle and was a very, key, very young kid at that time. And then they went to Rio in 1925, settled in Rio, and my uncle Carlos opened his first school in 1925. At this point, my father was, could not do any sports. He was, doctor said for him to not do anything, not playing soccer, not ride a bike, not skate, nothing, because he's very skinny and he has vertical all the time. So he's passed out, any, any effort he's passing out. So he had to rest. So my uncle opened this school, my, my father sitting on the corner all the time watching my uncle teach. And for three years, from 13 years old to 16, he was just watching, amazed watching all the details, all the, the sayings, all the moves, all, but he never practiced. And one day, a student arrived at the school and my uncle was not there yet. So my father said, mister, if you wanna go, let's play a little bit until my brother arrive. So with that, they start to practice. Half hour later, my uncle arrived and the student said, Carlos, if you don't mind, I like to keep training with the kid because he's so good. I love to practice with him. So, and that's the way my father get into jiu-jitsu practice. But different than a normal person, my father could not do one pull-up, one pull-up or one push-up. He don't have the strength and the muscles to do that. So he basically, a choke, for example, which is a, he learned as an arm movement where you grab the collars and squeeze the guy to choke. He could not even think about choke somebody with the strength on his arms. So he has to bring together and use the chest, which, trans, trans, uh, which transforms the whole pressure on the choke, giving less effort muscularly and much more efficiency technically. So, just, just a very simple example of how my dad, in every movement he could do, he adapt for him weak for his own weakness. And it's another very important element is he was so light and so small he could not ever fight on top, mount positions, passing guards, and and, and kick ass kick ass from the top. So he was able to just stay on the bottom regardless, and he was able to create from the guard position. A, a, such a, a new arsenal of tricks because he has nothing to do but guard. So he developed a guard in a very Helio Gracie style, in a Brazilian style which doesn't belong to Japan at all. All the ground techniques from the bottom are developed by, by my father, which is weak enough to not do other things. So He's improving. We normally say in, in the family, Helio Grace is for Jiu Jitsu, as Einstein is to physics. <laughs> he's a creator, he's a genius. It's impossible to compare. And follow this, this idea of, of, of total connection with the techniques and the development. The Jiu Jitsu, the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, becomes more like effective and the Vale Tudo and the no holds bar and effectiveness overall with Gi, without Gi, because gives to the weaker one elements to, to submit the bigger one. So I felt like Jiu Jitsu really becomes a, a, a art for a weaker one after pass through, through Brazil. Before, Conde Coma, Conde Maeda Coma was a very effective, he has many, many victories. But he was a stocky guy, he was solid, strong Japanese. Not too tall, but he was very solid, maybe 80 kilos or 85 kilos or something. So he was dealing jiu-jitsu in his own form of athleticism, which is different than what my dad implies. So we are very grateful to have Eddie Gracie and the family to, to bring another possibilities for our style. 
Yeah, that's. Um, it seems like in jujitsu, when when you have jujitsu like that, it's the situation where, like you said, somebody that's smaller and weaker can defeat someone that's bigger and stronger. And everybody that starts jujitsu for the first time, when I started jujitsu for the first time, you know, I was, like I said, I was 220 pounds. Uh, my first teacher was Fabio Santos. Yes. I think he weighs, I don't know, 150, 160 pounds. Yes. He would just do whatever he wanted to me. Yeah. And, and, he, and he was an old man at the time. Yeah. He was probably younger than I am right now. But <laughs> <laughs> he seemed like he was an old man. I said, how's this old man with gray hair gonna do anything to me? And jujitsu allows you to do that. Jujitsu is, you know, what what your dad, because he had, like you said, because he was smaller, because he was weaker, he had to develop that style, yes. and it's so effective. Yes, leverage uh, replaces strength. You know, techniques replaces speed. So when you have the perfect combination, you can anticipate the movement. You can use timing at your favor and other deflections. So is a very interesting concept of uh, winning without really banging head to head. Mm -hmm. You have to make, like set him up or, or, or fake or set up in a way to, to almost surprise the guy with and, and, and defeat, not exactly smash him, you know. It's, it's too brutal sometimes, it's too much, too bulls fighting, mm -hmm. you know. I love to see the, the articulation of a technician suppresses the strength. So for me, I, I was amazed about the effectiveness of, and the possibilities of Jiu Jitsu.